Hi everyone, it's Tina from Frugal Fun and Fabulous and today I'm here to bring you a brand new series, Dollar Tree Gourmet. That's right, you heard me, Dollar Tree Gourmet. We're going to be making delicious gourmet meals out of ingredients that I found solely at the Dollar Tree. And here's the kicker, I'm giving myself a limit of seven ingredients per meal, which means each meal will cost no more than seven dollars. Today's dinner is going to be a fish taco and I've got, picked up a bunch of ingredients at my local Dollar Tree that are going to kick it up and be so delicious and I can't wait to try it with you. So the first thing that you're going to need is two of these 4 ounce flounder fillets found in the freezer section. I went ahead and thawed these in my fridge overnight so they're nice and thawed and ready to go. The second thing that you're going to need is this jalapeno jack cheese. It's going to give our tacos a nice little kick that we're going to need. This is a little bar, it's 4.5 ounces that I found in the refrigerated section. The next thing is this Unreal Sour Cream. Again, I think we talked about this in my haul. Um, basic sour cream, nothing special about it. 16 ounce container, you won't need the whole thing, but uh, sour cream is the next ingredient. This is the Taco Bell Verde Salsa. This is a green salsa, it's pretty mild, um, but it's gonna give our uh, fish tacos like a, a, a kind of a peppery, a nice kind of sweet, smoky, uh, spicy, little bit spicy flavor. Next thing is the Old El Paso Chipotle Black Bean and Corn Bowl that I picked up at my Dollar Tree the other day. If you can't find this, that's okay. You can use any sort of rice or even black beans would work in this. Uh, we're just gonna use this to fill our tacos and give it some, some sort of a, you know, a spicy kind of Mexican flavor. Flavor. The ingredient that we're going to be using is these uh, medium burritos, fajita style tortillas. These are soft flour tortillas. Feel free to substitute these for crunchy tortillas or corn tortillas or any tortillas that you particularly like. I happen to like flour, so that's what I picked up. So we're also going to be using uh, salt and pepper, which I'm not counting in my, in my seven ingredient list because I'm pretty sure most of you have salt and pepper on hand, but we will need this. We're going to need some aluminum foil. Uh, these are the Reynolds wrappers that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, but uh, you don't have to use these. You can use any aluminum foil that you have on hand. Um, anything will work. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, clean up your fish and trim it up. Right here in this bowl, I've rinsed, dried, and uh, trimmed my fish a little bit to make it a little bit easier to work with. What we're trying to do is cut this into uh, strips that would fit easily inside a taco. You don't want them too big or too small, um, just kind of like that. So keep doing that with all of the, the fish until it's completely done. Um, I'll show you here. As I started going through these pieces of fish, I started to realize that they weren't fully deboned. Um, I trimmed a few up and then I started to feel them and along that little rib line there, I don't know if you can see it, um, I'll show you in just a second, but the bones weren't fully removed. So I had to go in and kind of cut out the bone sections of the fish. Um, it'll be coming up here just a second, you'll be able to see it. Just a little helpful hint for you guys that are buying the fish from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is the first fish that I've worked with from the Dollar Tree, but uh, I don't know if the other you know, selections or cuts actually have that, but there you can see uh, that I started to feel there was some bones in there. Definitely don't want that in your fish taco. That's not something you want to be biting into, so do be very careful. I don't know if this was just a fluke with the package that I got, but um, all you basically have to do is take your knife uh, right there along the rib, as you can see where I'm doing it, uh, and then cut along the edge. Just cut that little fragment away that contains the bone pieces and continue to do that with the rest of your fish until all of the fish is done um, and all fully deboned. Again, be very, very careful, guys. Bones are not fun to eat, nor are they delicious. Okay, now that we've got all of our fish deboned, cleaned, and everything else, you want to go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, be careful with the amount of salt you, that you use. Uh, these sauces that are pre-bottled typically contain a lot of sodium, so just be a little bit careful with that. Um, go ahead and sprinkle liberally with black pepper though, and then go ahead and add about a third to a half a cup of your salsa verde, or whichever marinade that you're using. Uh, you just want to be able to coat the fish pretty liberally and make sure that it's all seasoned and full of flavor. Um, after that, go ahead and grab a fork and mix it up really well, just like that. 
And then once you're sure that everything is covered, every single uh, piece of the fish is covered with the seasoning, um, go ahead and cover it with saran wrap and store it in your fridge. You can marinate this anywhere from 20 minutes up to 24 hours. They think would still be fine. Uh, the flounder is a very firm fish. Um, it should actually take a while to absorb a lot of the flavor. So the longer you marinate it, it's probably a little bit better. Um, I did this in about 20 minutes only because I was a little short on time. I forgot to do it the night before. So um, we were pretty hungry for dinner and I was pretty anxious to get this video done. So yeah, just go ahead and uh, stick some saran wrap on that, put it in your fridge and just let it hang out until you are ready to grill. Okay, so the next step is going to be grating your cheese. Just go ahead and take your block of cheese and grate it up. Um, I stuck mine in the freezer for about 10 minutes to let it firm up a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier to grate. So just grate the whole thing and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so the next step is going to be preparing our rice. Now this is the Old El Paso Chipotle Black Bean Rice Blend that I found at the Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using today. This is what it looks like directly out of the package. Just go ahead and follow the instructions on the box. Um, this, this one particular said to fill to the line with hot water, which I established was right around a cup, uh, and then microwave for four to five minutes. So that's exactly what I did, just as directed. Now, if I had had on hand, and if you want to, um, some extra corn or maybe canned black beans or anything like that um, that you wanted to kind of throw in and add into the mix, you could you could do that, no problem. I would cook it first according to the package directions and then go ahead and throw in whatever you want. Now while the rice is cooking, we can go ahead and prepare our tortillas for the grill. So basically what I've got here is my tortillas and what I'm going to do is take a sheet of this Reynolds wrapper foil, pulls out just like that, and wrap my tortillas. This time I'm using four because there's two of us, I figured two tacos a piece. Um, so I'm going to take four of those flour tortillas out of the package, wrap them up in the foil just like this. I actually ended up using two sheets of the foil because I didn't realize that the one sheet wasn't going to cover it fully. And you do want it covered fully because you do kind of want those tortillas to steam instead of actually get cooked and crunchy because I like them soft. So go ahead and prepare those just like that. Wrap it up in like a tight little package. You're going to be throwing those on the grill later just to warm them up. And another thing you can do while the rice is cooking is prepare a pan for your fish. Now I made my fish on the grill. So I was using a grill pan, as you will see here shortly. So I went ahead and took that grill pan and covered it again with a sheet of the foil. Just because it is fish, um, it does tend to stick to the grill because it's uh, you know fragile when you cook it. So that way I didn't lose any of my fish you know, to uh, getting stuck to either my pan or the grill. And also it made for really easy cleanup. Okay, now that our fish is done marinating, we want you to go ahead and pull it out of the fridge and lay it here out on your tin foil just like that. Go ahead and give it a toss to make sure it's super duper evenly coated. And then just kind of lay it out in strips. Try to make sure nothing is touching, but you know, just like that, all over your foil. This is gonna go directly on the grill, so no worries if uh, it doesn't look that pretty. It's gonna be all nice and cooked here in a few minutes. So lay it out just like that, uh, one by one, uh, as evenly as you can. And then we're gonna get ready to go ahead and throw this on our grill. Okay, so the next step is going to be to grill your fish. Um, here, as you can see, I have my, uh, my fish on the foil grilling. It took my fish about seven or eight minutes to finish uh, fully cooking. You'll know the fish is done when it's firm and opaque and it'll flake easily with a fork. Next, you just want to throw your tortillas on the grill to warm them up. Again, this shouldn't take more than maybe three minutes. I flipped it once during, uh, during the heating time, but again, yeah, it's a very quick process. Well, all right, folks, there you have it. Fish tacos made entirely from Dollar Tree ingredients. So the way that you assemble, um, assemble these is like this. Take a little bit of the fish. Now, actually, I want to show you exactly how much fish this made. Uh, it was the two fillets, four ounces each. I did have to trim them, as you saw, for the bones. Um, and I actually did eat a little bit, too. I wanted to taste it for seasoning and make sure it was seasoned OK. But um, this is more than enough for fish tacos. Um, so what you're going to do is take your taco shell like this, fill it up with some nice yummy flounder, okay, just like that. 
The next thing I usually put on is cheese. Um, I'm just going to take a nice handful like that. I hope you guys can see what's going on over here. Then we take some of the rice, add that into our fish taco. This smells, you guys, it smells so good in here. I cannot believe that I made all of this, like this whole entire dinner from Dollar Tree ingredients. It's amazing. So the next thing you're gonna do is take some of this, um, this uh, crema that we made, the verde crema. Uh, put that on there, just a touch on the side. I know that looks like a lot, but it's not that much really. And you are done. Check that out. So there you go, guys. Fish tacos made from entirely Dollar Tree ingredients. They're yummy, delicious, tastes great, and it's Dollar Tree Gourmet. What can I say? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your views and everything and all your nice comments. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Send me an email, whatever you want to do. Please do go check out my blog. I'll leave the link for that down below as well. And if you like my videos, please do subscribe. Until next time, kids. See you later. Just in case you're wondering if I actually am eating it. I really am. It's actually very good. I can't believe it. Wow. This cheese, guys, seriously, if you don't buy anything else, try this cheese. It's really spicy, which I absolutely love. But, I mean, the cheese is very, very good. I mean, the tortillas are really fresh. I, the sour cream's good. Everything's great. I, I, I can't believe this is from the Dollar Tree. Nobody would ever believe that. So, anyway, enjoy. Until next time.